Hello everyone, Amud here from the Target Common Tube channel and today we are going to learn another usage of Java Stream API. In this video, we are going to sort a Java list in ascending and descending order using Java Stream API methods. So, uh, let's jump to Eclipse and I will directly show you the methods of Java Stream API to sort the Java list. Okay. So here I have already created one list here, list of integer and list of integers actually and you can see here I have given some random numbers here and obviously we can see these numbers are not in order, uh, not in descending or ascending order. So the my task is to I want to sort this list. Okay. Obviously, you can. We have different sorting mechanism, and you, if you are good in that, you can use that one. And obviously, if you are attending any interview, and also you should know how to use those kind of sorting like bubble sort, selection sort, and all, right? But when you write, when you uh, in real time, when you write the code, there is no need to write those complex logics. Okay, because we have something already uh, available in Java, and we should use directly that. Okay, and for that we have here java stream api so let me show you how java stream api will help you to sort the array sort the list here in no time so we know that uh, from last two examples we have already seen that whatever list we have first we need to convert to stream so unsorted list okay and we have one method called dot stream okay so this is the first task we need to do whether you have list of a string or list of integer we need to convert to stream okay so here if you convert it so we are seeing it is returning me stream of integer if you watch my previous videos you can see it is showing a string a stream of strings okay because here we have list of integers so when you convert to stream it will be converted to a stream of integers okay then we have one method called sorted okay so by default it will sort you in ascending order that is natural order okay just need to call this method no need to do anything just call this method if you are if you want to sort in natural order that means ascending order okay doing sorted once you sort it right so the this is called intermediate operation so once you sort it the array will be sorted, so a list will be sorted and we need to collect the stream back to our list. Okay, so for that we have method called collect and we know that if you want to collect to a list, so you can use collectors dot to list. Okay, collectors, collectors dot to list. Okay. And we need to store into a variable. So I will give list of integer. Okay, and I will name it as sorted list. Okay, and let me print both the list. Says out before sorting. Okay. So I am not using the same variable to store the sorted list again because I want to print and show you what is happening. So it's out after sorting. Okay. Okay. So let me run this program and then let me show you what is the output. Okay. So we can see it's sorted in natural order that means ascending order here. Right, 1, 2, 3, 6, 10, 21. Okay, see how much it is simpler. You just want to use one method called sorted and you are done. Now, question you might ask, okay, this was, it was sort, this method was sorting the list of integer in ascending order, which is default behavior. What if I want to sort in descending order? Okay, descending order means reverse. Whatever output we got it here, we should get 21, 10, 6, 3, 2, 1. That is reverse order or descending order. Okay. So that is very simple. Just need, let me copy this one. Let me copy this one. And 
when you see the sorted okay sorted list one i will give when you call this method sorted here sorted you can see it is overloaded here and you can see it's asking for comparator okay so if you want any custom order custom uh, sorting so you can use this interface here okay so for that suppose i want to uh, sort in reverse reverse order or descending order so we have one uh, here like comparator comparator interface and here we have one method call reverse order okay so sorted and let me collect it to the list okay so what the only difference that if you want in default order natural order just use the sorted if you want to uh, sort in reverse order that means descending so we need to pass the comparator here and comparator is one interface and we are passing we are calling this method reverse order okay if you see here so comparator you can see it's a interface here actually okay you can see java utility competitor is the interface and we have method called reverse order okay this is uh, functional interface here okay so now you can print this one okay and this time it will be sorted list one okay so we'll let me run as java application so you can see it's sorted in descending order right so this is the way you can sort the java list in ascending or descending order using java stream api now you can ask me whether it will work for in, uh, strings or mix yeah obviously it will work so let me do one thing i will create a new uh, list here okay and i'll put object or let me put a string first okay and i will give like uh, something like amod then i will give means i am just simply adding some string here java then i will add uh, let me put uh, books okay then i will put uh, like apple okay so i have simply created one list of strings with some values so i want to show whether it works for string or not so let me copy this again okay let me paste it here just to save time and this time it will be string okay and we are going to show you into a list of string instead of integer okay so before sorting uh, this one uh, okay so it will be unsorted list string this is sorted list string okay so let me run a java application you can see it's sorting well right so this sorting uh, this sorted method of java string api can be used for list of integer list of string and even you can go for mix also where means a list where you have both integers and string so try it out there's no need to write any complex logic for sorting and all you can use the java stream api to write better and clear code okay so we we'll, uh, we are going to learn so many more examples of java stream api in upcoming videos so if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others if you have any doubt please comment on this video thank you everyone